Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm just out for a walk in the rain, um, getting some steps in. In this vlog, I think I'm gonna show you guys the market which runs every Wednesday and every Saturday from I think seven till one. And then I'm also going to show you the supermarkets, what kind of thing we're buying from the supermarkets at the moment. We're trying, but failing, at going to the supermarket once a week. Um, but like I say, we're, we're not succeeding at that because we always end up needing a few extra bits, which is annoying. But yeah, I'll show you the supermarkets and what kind of thing. So stay tuned. I belong, I belong to you. He's allowed to go to the gym because um, of the comets, which is good. But obviously, Germany's still in full lockdown, so I can't. But it's really chucking it down. That's so cool. They've just made a nest out of all of that stuff. Never seen anything like that. different supermarkets um, just because we're still figuring out where to get things from. Excuse the washing machine, um, I don't want to put all the stuff away and then get it all out again so yeah I'll show you now but this is the stuff. So to start off with we went to a shop called Revy which is a bit more expensive but has a few things that Lewis wanted so we went there and he got a few different things to make a curry I think so so he got some coconut milk so, yeah soy sauce onion granule things I see he's having a Thai curry I don't eat curry and then from Aldi he got chili con carne oh he also got this from Revy Germans are really plain eaters um, when it comes to seasoning. So Lewis has been finding it difficult to try and find a spicy sauce. So he's trying out a new one and hopefully that's gonna be spicy. But we also found this hot Cajun from Aldi. Um, so that should be nice. But yesterday I ordered a 250 gram packet of Cajun seasoning just because I like it and I eat a lot of chicken. So that's gonna be coming tomorrow. So carrying on with the stuff that we got, obviously the hot Cajun, and then I got tinned pineapple, just because that lasts quite well and it's good to put in smoothies. Um, cross fries, hashtag things, and they've got a bit of a spice to them and they're just good to throw in the oven. Um, Philadelphia, some butter, which we've got a butter dish for that Sylvie um, left for us. Some carrots, broccoli, Yogurt, which Lewis uses for his granola, but we also put in smoothies. Rocket, some milk for my hot chocolates because I love hot chocolates. Bananas. We did also want to get some apples, but they didn't have pink ladies and they're our favourites. So we'll probably, I might go to the shop tomorrow 
um, to pick up some pink lady apples but we've still got a few in from when we last bought those and then we got loads of chicken so they only had two of these extra large ones and then Lewis just got one of these for lunch um, but the chicken's the only meat that I eat um, Lewis eats turkey but we haven't really come across that much um, variety at the moment so that's why we've got so much chicken and then we just marinate it at the start of the week and then leave it in bags in the, either the freezer or the fridge and then just get it out as and when we want it. And then some bread just for toast or sandwiches um, just as a standard loaf and then Lewis got some different pastas he's trying out some different ones every week so this is a new one I think and then some tortellini and then just some like pudding stuff so some cookies Lewis has got some elephants which are like the Percy pigs from m and in England I got some cola bottles and then some hubba bubba so the story behind the hubba bubba I used to live in Spain um, and Hubba Bubba was really popular, well, I think it was anyway, in Spain. And we always used to get it when we were younger, me and my brother and sister. So I found that, so I'm gonna try that and hopefully it will be the same. And then we got some of these little lemon cakes, which are nice European cakes. And then garlic bread. I quite like garlic bread, so I've been trying some different ones and they don't all taste the same. They definitely don't taste the same as English ones. So I'm trying different ones out and seeing seeing which ones are nice. But yeah, I think that's that's all we got from the supermarket. And hopefully this this should last us a good week or so. We probably will need to go to the supermarket occasionally, like I say, to pick up apples. Um, and I'm sure a few other bits, but that's our big shop. And our spend was, give you some time to guess, 40 euros 55, which I think is quite good. I think that works out about 35 pounds. Um, so happy for a weekly shop. Lewis is just in the background doing some work. Say hi. Hi. Back at it again, walking to Lewis's training. But I just thought I'd give you guys a tyre update. Um, obviously our tyre's been flat the whole time we've been here but we actually got it fixed on Monday so we've had a whole week of a fixed tyre which has been nice so we haven't had to worry about driving anywhere. So yeah, that's fixed. The weather hasn't been too nice this week. Very rainy and cloudy. But I think next week it's meant to be quite nice. So I'm probably going to try and go to the market on Wednesday with Lewis if the weather's sunny and if not I'll go on Saturday. Um, but if there's anything that you want to see in and around the area then drop it in the comments and I'll have an explore if you have any recommendations of places that you think I should be travelling. I think the rules are lifting slightly from tomorrow gyms are open if you either have a ne negative COVID test result or you've had your two jabs and I'm lucky enough to have had both of my jabs but I'm not really sure how it's going to work because I don't speak very good German so I'm not going to be able to really speak to the people working in the gym so I'm hoping that hopefully someone speaks English um, and then hopefully I can start going to the gym which will be good so that's from tomorrow shops are open now I was walking through town yesterday and a few shops were open but I'm not sure what the rules are if it's collections only or you can go into the shops but I think people were going in so I think some of the rules are lifting but yeah I'm just walking to Lewis's training now so I'll get a few clips of that if anyone's interested in seeing what the Comets are training like at the moment but I won't um, provide any secret training techniques that are there that they're doing at the moment to give give the game away to their opponents because I'm sure the opponents are watching. now 
Thursday the 27th of May. Um, Lewis and I went to the market yesterday so I'll insert some clips of that and we also had lunch just by um, our apartment which has a nice little viewing area. <laughs> Tomorrow, fingers crossed, is meant to be nicer. But although I was saying that the gyms were opening again, they actually didn't open. So I haven't actually been able to go to the gym this week, which has been a shame. But someone from Lewis's team was saying that maybe they're opening next week. But I think COVID cases are still fairly high this in Kempton area. So I'm not really sure when the rules are going to be relaxing but fingers crossed, it's gonna be soon. It has been really nice exploring the area though, seeing the market, um, and we've seen the Alps and that kind of thing. So there is still quite a lot to do around here. Um, I think it's really interesting to take in other people's cultures and because Lewis and I don't speak too much German, well, I, I basically don't speak any. Um, I am trying, I'm such a friendly and outspoken person so that has been that has been a challenge but hopefully when covid rules lift a bit more i think hopefully people will start to warm to us i am looking into actually doing some german lessons but in other news lewis is back at training he trained last night and he said that he felt okay he's still not a hundred percent but he's feeling a lot better which is good and then he has his first away game next weekend but we found out that I can't actually go with him, which is a bit of a shame because they're only allowed a certain amount of people in the stadium. But thankfully they live stream it, so I'll probably be able to, to watch that. Um, and then hopefully when rules start to lift, I'll be able to go to away games and explore different, different areas of Germany. But because of lockdown at the moment, I don't think we're really allowed to. Our fan just arrived. So when we first got here, the apartment was so, so, so hot. And Lewis and I sleep with a fan in England all the time. Um, and I ordered one on Amazon. So it's a bit complicated to try and order stuff in Germany on Amazon's German Amazon. Um, but we sorted it out. So I ordered this air conditioning unit, which is quite a small one, that you can put water in. To, it's, it's meant to be really good, it had good reviews and stuff. Um, but because they don't give you a time slot like in England with Amazon, I got it delivered to an Amazon locker. And it took about a week to get delivered because German Amazon Prime isn't the same as in England. And then on the day of the delivery, it just got cancelled. So I went on to Amazon chat and they said that the reason it was cancelled was because it's not safe for the parcel to get delivered to um, a locker. And the annoying thing was that I'd bought it for 26 pounds. Um, so it had 10, oh no, 26 euros. And it had 10 euros knocked off. And then when I went to reorder it, it had gone back up to the 36 euros. So Amazon gave me a gift voucher, which actually just doesn't work. Um, but yeah, long story short, ordered a new one. I'll, I'll show you that now. So this is it and the reason that I ordered this rather than a normal fan is because the apartment is so hot and a big AC unit you need to have like a whole tube that goes out the apartment to blow out the hot air and stuff um, and this was I think 28 euros something like that which isn't too expensive 
um, considering Lewis and I are splitting it. It's a lot smaller than I thought. So yeah, it's quite small, got a handle which is good, and then a European plug which is good because we're using all of our adapters. We probably need to buy some more to be fair. But it's so annoying having to stay in for a parcel. Um, and I'm not really sure how it works being able to leave and then them leaving it in the apartment building. And it's just a bit a bit difficult to work it out because obviously in England, you either like leave it with a neighbor or they leave it on your doorstep or something like that. But I'm not sure if it's the same principle applies here. Um, you plug it in there. Don't actually know how to add the water. I think this might be actually. Yeah. So there's a little toggle thing there that you pull down and you add cold water or ice into the bottom of it. And then how it works is that it like circulates through that and then the cold water or ice almost blows out of here. So it makes it even cooler than just the fan. And I thought it'd be really good because I think in summer in Germany it's meant to get quite hot. Um, and especially because the apartment's so hot already when it's horrible weather and probably like 11, 12 degrees. I can't imagine what it's going to be like when it's even hotter. But this is the top. The on button. Oh, it also has a light so the water can um, change colours. There's like LEDs or something in there. So that's the light button. And then ice or just cold, I think. And then that's actually a timer. It says two hours or four hours. So if you want to set a timer whilst you're out or something like that, you want it to keep going, then that's that. But yeah, this is the aircon unit. Kind of gone off topic there, <laughs> but just thought I'd show you the latest purchase. Um, and there are loads online, so if anyone wants to order it, you can just search in air conditioning small unit and this will come up but if anyone's interested i'll put the the link in the um description i'm sure no one wants to order it but just in case so it blows out smoke when you turn on the um ice and then i imagine that's from the water but it is cool it is very cold and then there's three different settings it's a lot louder than i thought it was going to be um that's the light. But yeah, it is very cool, so that's that was good. So yeah, I'm very happy with, with that purchase. I'll um keep you updated on whether it's actually good or not, because obviously it's only the the first time that we will have used it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this video here. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I upload videos every Sunday. See you next week. Thanks for watching. You're the one that tries.